Okay, Richie. Uh, this is... I'm going to do a walkthrough here of what you're looking at. Obviously, this is Thetis running. I'm transmitting out of the G2. And you can't really see, though. You can kind of see the peaks and a little bit of the valleys coming out of the G2. But on the right-hand side, you'll see SDR console. Now, that is the RF. So I'm, I'm transmitting out of, out of a dummy load into a, uh, in, and it's being picked up on an OCF out on the end of the house that I use for diversity, an 80 meter OCF. And that's being received in console on an HF plus, which is the equivalent to a Flex 5000. Now, what you're seeing in the bottom left hand corner of the screen is VST host. That's what I use. It's a very passive, very lightweight program, and it hosts the, v v the VSTs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a quick walkthrough, and what you're hearing, I just threw this profile together. It's a 4K profile, and this is the RF being spit out, what you're hearing, and what you're seeing on the right-hand side of the screen is the actual RF, okay? Um, that's what's coming out and being re out of the G2 and the, this is what's being picked up in console. This is what it sounds like over the air. So on this screen on the left, bottom left-hand corner, what you're seeing, that's the VST host. I'm going to do a walkthrough. What you have on the left side, you'll see all these boxes. This is engine input on the top. It then just, this is your rack, okay, what you're looking at. Engine input, that's the input of the microphone. And it flows into this one right here, which is the J-HUD Studio 31 band EQ with a full Q adjustment and um, parametric. And then it flows into this one right here, which is the modern exciter. That's kind of like a 204, uh, not quite as good. And it looks like my level's a little bit low. So let me bring this up a little bit. There we go. Um, bring it up even more, I think. Uh, test, test, one, two, there we go. Okay, so that's that's the modern exciter. It's a little too hot. Uh, it's got a low, high, and a balance control on it. And then from the exciter, it flows into the Brit Presser, which is a comp limiter. This is a compressor and limiter VST plug-in uh, right here on the right-hand side. Then it flows into the modern expander, which is this one right here. This one that I just moved. Now I have this set up as a downward expander. Um, and what that does is it helps get rid of a lot of the noise in the shack, the um, fans running, stuff like that. Uh, it is a very specific setup. And if you decide to use this, I could walk you through how to set it up to make it work. Um, and then it flows into the gate, which is right here. This is uh, the uh, rear gate. This is part of the reefer uh, plugins. Uh, comes in as a plug-in pack. Okay, and then from there, it flows into the ambience, which is this one right here. This is the ambience plug-in. It's a reverb plug-in, and unfortunately, it's kind of hidden. Let me move that up a little bit. Um, this plug-in, this plug-in, bottom right-hand corner, that's a reverb plug-in. It's a very versatile plug-in. It's, it's fairly complex to get this working. <laughs> uh, I'm still playing with it, and I've been playing with it for about, I don't know, five, six years. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, me on key the rig for a second. I can't remember if there's a timeout timer. I'm only putting out like a watt, if that. So, um, yeah, so that's what it sounds like. That's what you can do. Uh, now, I wanted to mention Doug runs a VST host program. It's not this one. I think it's a lot better than this one. So I'm going to contact him because I want to try that. This is a very easy way to do it. Um, no DAW. You know, the only reason you need a DAW is to record if you're, like, working in a studio. Uh, VST host programs are basically exactly what you th – what common sense tells you there. They just host the, v, the uh, VSTs. So that's it. I wanted to send this to you so you know what you're looking at. These are all free plugins, and I only have technically one. I have the EQ, 
the modern exciter, the comp limiter, the Brit presser, the modern expander, the gate, and the reverb. That's it. And like I said, you can go hog wild, dude. You can put as many of these things as you want, and I got links coming. So I'll forward you the links in a separate email of uh, where you can kind of go peruse some plugins. All right? We'll catch you later.